What's going on all of my YouTube family? I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Today we are going to discuss the second part of my four part series for the ATITs to help you comprehend the information and get you passing that ATITs the first time. Before we begin, if you are new to my channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button as well as the bell to get notifications when I do post. I do post new ATITs content every Monday up until the point where we finally finish it and you pass your ATITs. Make sure that you like this video, it lets others know that I'm doing a good job and really helps out my channel. And of course, share this with your friends and all of your other pre-nursing students that are really interested in starting their nursing journey. So to begin the second part of our ATITs, we're going to start out by talking about topic questions. So what is considered a topic question? Well, there's two different types. The first one is a differentiation between a topic, theme, main idea, and supporting details. And the second is identifying a topic sentence or a summary sentence of a paragraph or a passage. So the topic passage is the overall general subject that the passage is trying to address. The topic sentence really can be located anywhere within the passage. Often the sentence uh, sometimes can be the first sentence, second sentence, or the last sentence of the first paragraph of the passage. And then you've got your summary sentences. So your summary sentences are the concluding sentences that reiterate the main idea of the passage. Um, they may also have a conclusion based on the information that you read within the passage as well. So we're going to start off with our first example. The first example is inquiring which of the following sentences is the topic sentence in paragraph 2. So for right now I'm just going to read paragraph 2 of this passage. So it starts with, most all approaches of CPR begin with resuscitation efforts via chest compressions. In order to perform chest compressions, the rescuer begins by placing both hands flat on the sternum of the patient's chest and begins pushing down consistently and firmly at equal intervals. Compressions are counted with an unofficial recommendation of 100 chest compressions per minute. So what is the topic sentence of that paragraph? Is it A, most all approaches of CPR begin with resuscitation efforts via chest compressions? B, compressions are counted with an unofficial recommendation of 100 chest compressions per minute? Or C, in order to perform chest compressions, the rescuer begins to place both hands flat on the sternum of the patient's chest and begins pushing down consistently and firmly at equal intervals. The correct answer is A. Most all approaches of CPR begin with resuscitation efforts via chest compressions. Paragraph 2 focuses on how to give effective chest compressions. Choices B and C don't really give any kind of main idea. They're really much more of supporting details to the main idea. So moving on, we're going to talk about understanding main ideas of a passage. So a main idea refers to the overall content of the passage. It's really kind of what we like to refer to as the big picture. What really is going on? The main idea cannot be too broad and it also can't be too specific. So moving back to our example that we had before, what is the passage's main idea? Is it how to administer CPR techniques? Various ways that people learn about CPR? Uh, present a review of how people can use CPR daily? Or does it focus on several ways to save people in danger? And you guessed correctly, the correct answer is A. The passage focuses on how to administer CPR. It doesn't really discuss how people learn about CPR. It doesn't really focus, you know, how there's a review of CPR daily. And there's not really any focus on how several people are in danger and how to save their lives. So yes, the correct answer is A. So understanding topic sentences as well as main ideas really aren't that complicated in regards to the reading portion of the ATITs. What is important is identifying and understanding the passage's purpose. So moving on to that, passage's purpose will ultimately test the user's knowledge of the purpose of the whole passage or part of the passage. So the answers usually start with the word to. T-O. So kind of look out for those kind of questions. For example, the passage may ask, why did the author mention blank? The answer choices would give all reasons for why the detail could potentially have been mentioned. So let's start off with an example. Adopting a dog is a fine thing to do because many wonderful homeless dogs benefit and people could also benefit from their companionship 
unconditional love and entertainment value. However, if you have never cared for a dog before, there are some things you might want to consider. If you are away at work all day, you should look into getting two puppies or dogs that get along well and will keep each other company. A pet should be compatible with you in personality and temperament. Do you want a couch potato dog or do you want an energetic, playful pet? Puppies are a lot of fun, but their high energy levels and changing nutritional needs mean they require more attention and puppy immunizations can be expensive. Adult dogs are a better choice if you want a calmer, more relaxed pet that has already learned the basics of self-care self and socialization. You must be prepared for the serious commitment of time, attention, and money that goes along with caring for a pet as a family member for at least 10 to potentially even 20 years. What is the author's main purpose of this passage? Is it to compare and contrast the behaviors of different dogs? Is it B, to argue in favor of adopting adult dogs instead of puppies? Is it C, to give the re reader really advice about what you need to consider when adopting dogs? Or D, is it to persuade more people that they should adopt homeless dogs? So the correct answer is C. The author's primary purpose is to give advice about things that the reader should consider before adopting a dog or dogs. Uh, choice A really is not a correct answer because the author does contrast the energetic puppy versus the couch potato puppy. However, it's not really the main purpose of the passage. B is also incorrect. The author does not really argue in favor of adopting either adult dogs or puppies, but just mentions a few pros and cons between the two. And D is also incorrect because the author does suggest that adoption will benefit homeless dogs, but the primary purpose of the passage does not persuade you to adopt, you know, homeless dogs versus puppies. So as we discussed previously, the main idea really covers the overall general picture of a passage. So now we're going to move on to understanding and identifying the details within the passage. So what is it that we're looking for? We're looking for smaller issues that were raised during the passage rather than the overall general picture that's covered in the main idea. So when you're looking at questions for identifying details, you're looking at questions that usually start with according to the author. And typically they're going to ask how or what type questions. It is important to know when you're answering these questions that detailed questions are always directly within the passage. If it's not directly within the passage, then it is not the correct answer for these questions. This example that we used in this video. So we want to identify what the details of this passage are. And the question is, according to the passage, what is the goal of CPR? So remember, it has to come directly from the passage. If it's not directly from the passage, then the answer is incorrect. So your choices are A, to prevent a person who has lost consciousness from drowning, to help an unconscious person regain consciousness, to help an unresponsive person start breathing again, or lastly, to help an unresponsive person become mobile again. And you've guessed right, the correct answer is C. The detailed question asks you to identify the goal of CPR according to the passage. The paragraph states that the goal of CPR is to help unresponsive persons start breathing again on his or her own. The correct answer is stated directly within the passage. I hope that you found this information helpful. If you have any additional questions, please leave them down below. I love to answer your questions and make sure that you check out nursechung.com where I provide you with additional information as well as resources to pass your ATITs. But until next time, I look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye!